So, I was just watching some videos. Some videos that, those of y'all who don't know, uh, if you fall down the Amberlynn Reed sphere, the foodie beauty Chantel, if you fall down that rabbit hole, pretty much, number one, you're not going to get back up. Okay. Number two, um, there's a whole lot of drama there that those two like to, more, more Chantel than anything right now, I guess. Um, every few months I kind of loop back around just to kind of see what's going on. Wow. So, uh, I was watching a video from Charlie Gold. And, what's up, Skittle? You want to come? Wanna come over here, buddy? Are you coming to say hi? Anyway. So I was watching this video from Charlie Gold. And... I kind of want to give my take on it. Chantel apparently stepped in it. Are you coming over, buddy? Okay. Hi. Can say hi to the world? Hi. You're fucking cute. I love you. Anyway, so apparently she... <laughs> used the name Charlie Cole to describe a black woman. Um... And... I already knew about the first one where she, like, compared her to Harambe the gorilla. I'm just now learning about the Charlie Cole comment. Um, and then kind of doubled back to... <clears throat> she kind of doubled back to... Because everybody was calling her out for being racist. Well, <clears throat> so one of the important things, I just watched the video that Charlie Gold did. And I think one of the important things that kind of stuck out to me was who was who was uh, kind of backing Ch uh, Chantel up, Foodie Beauty. So, if you haven't kind of heard of the saying, like, you're judged by the company you keep, birds of a feather, birds of the same feather flock together, all those. Um, one of the biggest, biggest, um, if I'm early on in this year, or maybe late last year, one of the biggest channels that was sort of out of being a racist came out to support her. Shaquana Jefferson, right? So now you have a known racist, which she'll claim she's not. She'll also go on Michael B. Petty's videos and talk about how she's blacker than he is because of who she dated and her upbringing. Which, by the way, how do you have a black upbringing? That's what I want to know. What are you trying to say when you say that? Are you saying lower income? Are you saying poor? Are you saying ghetto? Are you saying gangster? What are you saying? Um, she said she legit was like, I'm more black than you, and referenced her upbringing. Well, what's a black upbringing? That's what I want to know. I mean, I get what she's saying, but I have a little bit more respect for you. Not that I would have any, but it'd be a little bit more respectful, I guess. Or Actually, I don't even want to frame it that way. Come right out and say what you're saying. Don't. Don't beat around the bush, especially don't deny being a racist, and then talk about having a black upbringing. The fuck is that, dude? Okay? So it's kind of funny that she is one of the ones that came out and defended Chantel's Harambe comments and Charlie, Charlie Cole comments and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of funny because I guess in the video that Charlie did, she kind of had a stream where one of her, or Pete's, which is her, well, we all know it's her boyfriend, um, was like, well, maybe you could have said it this way, or you could have said it that way, or something, to kind of, 
to kind of um, anyway so she, it looked kind of like maybe she had learned her lesson or whatever but then immediately like a, like a live stream kind of doubling down on what she said I don't get it I don't get it you act like you kind of learned learned your lesson and then double down on what you said in the live stream um so kind of wanted to bring this up here a little bit and I had other videos I wanted to put out I'll put them out after this maybe tomorrow sometime um and if I'm not mistaken Wednesday tomorrow, so tomorrow is what day? Father than Wednesday. Uh, Giants pregame thoughts. So I'll put actually one of my videos, I'll put the one of the videos out beforehand. Because technically, it was my fragrances for the week. So I'll go ahead and put that out. Um, and we'll see kind of what, uh, they're all going to be stuff that I'm reviewing anyway. So, yeah. But anyway, um, and I'll upload them tomorrow. I, I'll get them all up. We'll see. Um, I may have just film them all and upload everything, and it uploads as it Upl uploads and posts tonight. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, so she claimed she's not a racist, right? She's not a racist, and nobody should be offended. Um, I kind of take issue with that because, like, even though I'm I'm Puerto Rican, I've had some stuff directed at me, like very racist comments about Puerto Ricans. I don't think that someone who is outside of the race that it's directed at has any say in what they can be offended by. And like a lot of time, like for instance, like if I was to drop the N word, and I won't, I don't think you should. It's it's extremely an extremely terrible word. I don't think anybody that's not black does not have the or has the right to tell black people, oh we shouldn't be offended by that. Somebody called me a spick, and, I, and I've had that word used to me. It doesn't bother me. I don't care. Call me a spick. Call me any kind of racist name you want. It doesn't bother me at all. But I get to decide that it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that they're out there. I know people out there that don't like Spanish people. You know, and the funny part about it is, it's like a lot of times you'll get people who know I'm Puerto Rican and will say, go back to your country, and they're too stupid to realize that Puerto Rico is actually part of the U.S. <laughs> so it's funny. It can bring some, like, and I think as far, I can't say how everybody should look at it, but that's how I look at racists. That's how I look at people who make those comments. It's, they're kind of funny, actually. They're comedy. Because they're letting you know a whole lot. Like, if you were to come at me with a racist comment, that tells me more about you than it tells you about me. My reaction to it is something different that lets you know about me but like if you just say hey stick and I'm like yeah whatever which is what I'll do I don't care that tells me more about who you are than my reaction will tell you about me other than the fact that I don't care call me that if you want to but not everyone's going to look at it the same way and um, so like not only do you not get to say those remarks but when you say them, you don't get to double down on them and then turn around and be like, well, you shouldn't be offended. I mean, you went where you went. You understood the reference comparing a black woman to a lump of coal. Okay? And if you didn't understand that, you sure as fuck understood the reference of... I was trying not to curse in this video, but whatever. You sure as fuck understood the, the reference between comparing a black woman to Harambe the gorilla. Now let's call a spade a spade here. Chantel, I doubt you'll ever see this video, but you knew what you were doing. You knew exactly what you were doing. 
you know. And then a little bit of pressure came to you, you folded. You get some support, you come back. And look who's supporting you. Shaquana Jefferson. Shaquana Jefferson, which I've had it out with her in her comments before, too. I don't really, you know, care to sit and speak with her and have conversation with her, because I don't... I mean, I charge for my time, and, you know, she doesn't pay me for it, so I don't care. But the point is, is you know who she is. She knows who you are. You're both racist. You both support have supported each other, because you've supported her in the past, too. Okay? And it is what it is. But at least, at least own your comments. Don't come out with some with some feigned humility and be like, I own what I did, and then turn around and double down on it. Okay? Just when you get a little bit of support. Look at who your supporters are. Maybe, maybe don't be a racist bitch. How about that? Later.